Good morning. Today we are again going to start with another important topic of uh, CBC Grade 10 syllabus that is uh, using macros in uh, Open Office Calc. So I will share up my screen so that you can see what we are going to do today. So here uh, is the session. This is session four, creating and using macros in spreadsheet. Now see, um, first of all, we should know what is the use of macros in um, open office softwares. Now, um, what happens is if we want some commands, some keys, keystrokes to be saved for the later use, then you can record them. And uh, these recordings are called as macros. And what happens is like if you want to repeat the same statements again, then you can uh, simply run that macro by just sing a single step and then same task has will be repeated again and again. So as many number of times you want the same task to be done, you can repeat that macros, right? It's simply saving certain steps that you're doing. And if you want to repeat those steps in future, then we can run the macros again and again and we don't have to repeat every step one by one again. So that's the main advantage of using a macro. Now to um, start with it, first of all, we need to open one uh, spreadsheet. So let me open one spreadsheet. Now let's say we have this spreadsheet where we have certain numbers written in these uh, cells starting from A1 to C3 and um, what I want to do is I want to multiply all the elements by a number 3 let's say. So what I'll do I'll click on A1 first of all where 3 is written I'll copy it from the keyboard using Control C. Now I need to go to tools option there will have macros and the very first option is record macro. Now click on record macro and the macro dialog box will open up, right? You can see on the screen you'll find there's one small window which is showing you stop recording. Now that means your recording has been started. Now what you need to do is you just have to go to tools. Um, you need to multiply it by let's say three times so I'll just do it one one uh, simple step uh, since I have copied number three or you can again copy it right click on the cell click on copy I'm pasting it on these all values so I have to select all these values once go to edit click on paste special here we'll have option paste all and select multiply from here this will multiply that number three with all the values that we have selected the moment you click ok you see all the numbers has been multiplied by the number three right i'll undo again to make you make the things visible you can see so i'll repeat the steps multiply it by three so i'll repeat it go to edit go to space special click choose multiply choose select paste all and click OK right now this is all uh, done now you have to re re uh, stop the recording that you're uh, already started so click on this stop recording option that you can see here the moment you click here the macros dialog box will open up and uh, here you have to save this macro with certain name like I have already said saved this macro with the name paste underscore multiply or uh, let me change this uh, let's give a name multiply underscore by underscore three now why i'm putting underscore because it not allow you to add space here we cannot add space so um, we can put mul underscore in place of space here then save this file click save once the save has been done now that's all from uh, the recording has been done now the thing is how will you run this macro so for that you have to open another blank sheet let's say go to file new and spreadsheet 
Now this is another blank sheet. Now you write some numbers here so that things can be multiplied by three. If I let's say write five, six, eight, four, eighty-five, sixty-five, any numbers can be given. Forty-one, seventy-four, ten. Now I want to multiply all these numbers by three again. So either you need to do is you have to repeat all the steps or simply run the macro that we have already recorded. So select the things, go to tools, go to macros, click on run macro option, the second one. Now this will open up our run mac macros dialog box. And you will see the names that you have saved there as macros. So those that same name you have to select and simply click on run macro button. Takes time to open the dialog box. Let's wait for a few, few seconds. So that's that's a very important feature. You see, um, we don't have to repeat the steps again and again. We just have to choose the macro and run it straight away from there. But in case, let's say you are do, doing very complex uh, things, you are multiplying somewhere, you are adding somewhere, it is a big sheet that you are maintaining. So, and uh, you want to start up with the same things again for the new sheet. So, uh, instead of doing all the steps uh, again and again, you just have to um, record everything as a macro. And then, uh, once the macro is recorded with the new sheet, you just have to run that macro. So all the things will be done automatically. Now you can see uh, the dialog box is open up. Now click on my macro, click on this plus symbol and double click here on module one. This module one is automatically created from your side. And uh, see, this is the macro that we have already saved. Multiply underscore by underscore three, the name will be dis displayed. You just have to click on run button and you see all the numbers are again multiplied by, by the number that we want, right? The third, the number which we have on A1, right? So it is repeating those things. So all the numbers are multiplied by the number which is there here on A1. So that's the use of macro uh, recorder and um, surely this will help you out in uh, doing some complex calculations. Fine. Another example is there for uh, arranging the data in one worksheet or uh, you can say sorting of sorting the data in ascending order using macros. So like, for example, we have this worksheet where we have uh, kept some number in the cell B1 to B5. So for this, what you need to do is you have to go to tools, macros, and then um, we just go to uh, organize a macro and open office basic now in the stand standard option from here you just have to click on new button right and uh, you see a new macro sub function is created right so what you need to do is i have already created this function once so i'll just show you that this is the code that we need to add up here this code is just um arranging the data in ascending order, right? So we have created a function named a name as sort range and it starts from here. And uh, these instructions are basically arranging the data in ascending order from these three, this cell range A1 to C5, right? The code is also given in the book. You can refer it there also. And uh, it starts from field number one and it's arranging everything into ascending order. It's solved ascending, solved ascending true. So we'll keep ascending the things in a, uh, keep ordering the things in ascending order, right? We just have to copy and uh, or type this code over here and then save it. Now uh, you just have to run the macro, that's it. Go to tools again, go to macro, click on run macro button and uh, Whatever name you have given to that function, that name will be visible as I have saved this page uh, with the name as sort. So just select that macro, macro and then uh, click on run macro button as we have done in the previous example also. So arrange the things um, 
in ascending order right i'll just double click and see this dialog box is open here go to my macro standard module one and this was the macro that we have created sort range this we have already saved and shown you the code also and just click on run now see all the numbers are in ascend, um, descending order of the merit the lowest number is at the bottom and the highest number is on the top so like this you can create codes for different like different um, macros also you can create your own kind of functions and uh, they can be run in calc anytime right so help us to do the things in our way so if you want to uh, implement some more functions then we have to uh, add up some more macros into the options available right and that's it okay with this we come to end of the uh, session so um, this is all regarding macros and other options that we we can use uh, there are some more illustrations given in the cbse book you can refer that book also some codes some references some extensions they are given although the major part is this only how do we create a macro and uh, how do we run the functions there in the macro so uh, kindly go through this basic part why this macro is important and uh, how we can record a mac macro and then some instructions that illustrations that we can do on macro right so that's it from my side goodbye take care